heading from Montana into Idaho. And uh, what a sign that said game crossing. One thing about driving out west, back east the roads feel like a right. It's like it's your to be traveling on the road. And here it feels like a privilege. Like you're cutting through the territory that belongs to animals, wild animals. I've been going downhill for about 60 miles. I saw three signs I didn't have time to put out on the tape that said, well, the first one said, watch for ice, next five miles. I assume because it condenses on the road and freezes. Watch for stock, which must mean so many animals. And watch for rock coming off the mountains. Okay, here we are, last leg of the trip. This is uh, along the Loxa River. It's a uh, wilderness area in Idaho. And I'm gonna meet my friend Mark for Casey. Right, or wilderness area. Right. So the, the better it's the Montana side. Right. A little, um, probably that mud depression that we walked by. Really? That I think it said uh, you walk by an unnamed lake. Which would be the. Yeah, yeah so there's two prairie falcons. More real than this, my friend Mark and I are. Somewhat lost and upland forest on the continental divide. It's about 100 yards that way. He'll yell for me soon, I hope. Or you'll find this camera. Okay. One of the great things here is these glacial errata. Huge, huge rocks. Dropped here by a glacier. Refutes it, and right. it's like, oh look, we have the coldest winter on record. Well, we got a decision to make, don't we? Okay. It's my friend Mark for Casey. He's lost in the woods. I trusted him out here in the middle of Idaho. So if you find this camera... <laughs> Here's the trail right here. <laughs> yeah.